Hi, I'm here today with Wendy Mortimer of the Wool Mill, and uh, we're just going to have a bit of a chat about your business, uh, Wendy, and you know, you can tell me what you might have going on right now. So you want to tell me a little bit about the Wool Mill and how sure. you got started? Well, the Wool Mill is the longest running yarn shop in Toronto. Um, coming the month of August, we will be in our 63rd year. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 63 years and I'm the third owner okay um my mom used to shop at the store when when uh, I was a little kid and sometimes she'd send me down to the store for a ball of yarn and uh, so I've known this store for a long long time and uh, when I was in my my 30s I started to work in the store part-time okay and teach classes and um, do some repairs and custom knitting and when the owner at that time wanted to retire I snapped it up and here I am. Wow, so how long have you owned the store? Gee, I think it's about 30, 30 years, 32 years, something like that. Wow, so a that's, a, while. that's amazing, a long, a long standing business uh, here. Very much so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I understand you were in a different location before and then you came here? Yeah, we were down, uh, downtown on um, Queen Street and the beach Okay. for about 28 years. Then we moved up to the Danforth when the rents went sky high. And uh, yeah, so we've been up here ever since and like the location. Yeah, it is a great location. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about what motivates you to uh, run this business. What, what drives your success? I think um, that it's my love of knitting. Ever since I was a small kid, I learned how to knit in brownies. For that little brownie badge. Yeah, that badge. Um, <laughs> yep, that little badge. And then in the 60s, those uh, crocheted ponchos were all the rage. And I could crochet, so all of my friends were saying, would you make me one? Would you make me one? <laughs> did so, you start to sell them then? I did. Wow. I did. And my neighbor at that time owned a shop down on Yorkville that catered uh, custom knits. So I used to babysit her kids and watch her use the knitting machines and right. she eventually ta taught me how and uh, that started my my love of knitting and thinking dreaming when I was a young person oh wouldn't it be nice to own a yarn shop that would be like either that or a bookstore yeah um, but here's the best of both worlds knitting and books so uh, <laughs> it's true yeah so what's been the most surprising thing about owning your own business now you've been a business owner for a long time but right. uh uh, I think the amazing customers, we don't have cranky customers. Um, I've, I've never been taken advantage, advantage of, uh, when people would pay by checks, I never had a check bounce. Wow. Um, just really, really lovely customers that make this really worth, worth doing and, uh, being able to chat with people and sit down and, and have a chat and talk about our life stories and. That's that's just the most amazing part. Yeah, so that must be an incredible business to not have had any any bad customer experiences. What do mm -hmm. you think the customers love about the business that, that keeps them coming back to the store? I think it's the opportunity to, to be creative, um, inspired by all the different colors and the textures and, and the variety that are, are here now that weren't here like 20, 25 years ago. Right. Um, and since the pandemic, of course, people have taken up knitting once again that have put it down or we whole crop of new knitters. Yeah, I'm um, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All those teens at home doing online school thinking, yes, I could keep myself uh, doubly moms. occupied. Yeah. And their mom's trying to, you know, manage their stress and do something creative instead of sitting in front of a computer screen all day. So do you live in the nearby neighborhood? Yeah, I live just over by Maine and Danforth, so oh, I'm wow. able to walk to work. Yeah, you can walk to work. That's a I nice could, yeah. lifestyle mm -hmm. choice. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you like about the neighborhood? What? Um, I grew up in this neighborhood. I grew up down on Queen Street, so this is a familiar neighborhood for me in this area. Uh, I've lived here, oh gosh, a long, long time now, up around Maine and Danforth. Okay. So... Um, I like my customers. They're they're wonderful, down to earth people. Um, great to talk to, share stories, talk about you know history of the area. Like remember when this store was here, and uh, remember that shop. And so, so have you seen a lot of change in the neighborhood in the last little bit? Yeah, a lot of changes. 
a lot of changes, yeah. And many, many more to come with all the uh, densification going along the Danforth. Yeah, it does seem to be that's happening for sure. So do you have a favorite places you like to go in the neighborhood, go to restaurants, stores, businesses? Um, I don't do a lot of restaurants because I have a very um, constricted diet okay. that I'm on. But Port Coffee across the street has amazing goodies and mm -hmm. incredible coffee. Um, the gal next door at Cuts for You does amazing haircuts. And uh, there's a shop along the street that caters to to kids and having four little ones to buy presents for, um, I'm often in there. You go to Silly Goose Kids? Silly Goose Kids. Yeah, That's I interviewed the them last week. Uh, yes, I saw the interview when I was looking yeah. online. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, Shammy and I had a great conversation. Mm -hmm. So I often go in there. Uh, a little further along, Desairs, if I need any art supplies. Yeah, Desairs. Um, there's fabric shops in the area that I go to for buttons. So either Fabric Town down... Uh, uh, near Dawes Road, right, or uh, Mac Fab over by Coxville. Yeah. So I get all all of my other little accessories and things from there. Um, so and then you would sell them in the store just to put to put the knits together. Just to put the knits together. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So why do you think it's important for people to shop locally? I mean, you've been here a long time, so mm -hmm. you know uh, how important it can be to a business to have loyal neighborhood customers. Yes, and that's that's what I have. I have customers who have been coming here for decades, and uh, I think that's that's wonderful. Yeah. Um, what was the question again? Well, why do you think it's important for people to shop in their local area? If If you don't shop local and don't support your local merchants, they aren't going to be there. And yeah. Then where are you going to get the personal support? Like in my business, you can't go to Walmart or Michaels and get <laughs> help. I've made a mistake with my knitting. Yeah. Yeah. Can some? Um, can you take these rows out and exactly and fix that? Uh, or fix that or hole what there? yarn do I buy for this pattern? You, you just can't get that personalized service that that um, uh, you can get in a small local store. And in local stores, are you know the people are um, they like. To chat with their neighbors and talk about neighborhood issues and so I think that's important yeah so um you've got four grandchildren I hear mm -hmm. silly goose kids it's your go-to um and you've got the store are there other things you do in your spare time or um well I do a lot of work for film and tv okay so a lot of my spare time is taken up with that. When I have a film project or TV project, it's a very labor intensive and the timelines are very, very tight. Yeah. So, so um, you do custom knits. Is that the, is that the idea? Yeah. yeah. No, I can see that would be a. So what are your goals for the next year? What, uh, coming out of the pandemic, what, uh, what are you looking to focus on? Um, working more on my website. Okay. Getting it looking better. We didn't have a website before the pandemic. It had been on my list. It was always my summer thing, like, oh, I should do a website well, yeah. once the pandemic hit. Yeah, it's pushing a lot of people mm -hmm. to uh, have an online mm -hmm. presence, that's for sure. Certainly the businesses I talk to, if, if they have uh, a product that they could sell online, now they're thinking, oh, I better do that because mm -hmm. uh, everything has changed that way. Um, so do you have anything special going on right now? Are you teaching classes right now? Or? Yes, we're we're just finishing up our last series of classes. We don't teach them in the summer because okay. people want to go out and do stuff. Of course. Go on holidays, be outside, especially now after the pandemic. So uh, we'll be starting them up again in September. Oh, that's great. <coughs> so what's the best way for customers to get in contact with you? Um, either by email or phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drop into the store Drop if they've into just the got store. a question. You can check out our, our stock. We have about 90% of our stock on our website. Okay. So you can look and see what we have. Or come in and touch and feel. Yeah. See what the see what the yarn is like. Mm -hmm. So if you were speaking to a young person now who wanted to start their own business, what, what advice would you give them? Um, make sure you're prepared. It takes a year or more to be able to get your feet under you so you have to know who your customers are what they're going to want um, inventory levels are very important and just follow your bliss do what you love 
Well, that's great advice. I I'm, thank you for that. Is there anything else you think that you want customers to know about uh, the wool mill right now? Well, uh, we're one of the only places in Toronto where you can get your knitwear repaired. So we do a lot of knitwear repair. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a great service too because uh, a lot of people have, you know, hand-knit garments uh, that... You know their grandmother or their aunt or somebody might mm -hmm. have made and they and they uh, don't know how to repair it themselves for sure right so right or those pesky moths that oh yes the moths oh yeah <laughs> for sure for sure well this has been great i want to thank you so much for uh talking with me today and uh i love to be able to look at your stock it's amazing and you've got some beautiful uh, hand knit garments here as well um primarily for children i see but if you're yes. looking for a great gift and silly goose kids didn't do it for you then the wool milk can get you a, a hand knit garment uh for children we sell a lot of our handmade uh knitwear that's what i like to do the most if i have spare time is because i can use up leftovers and be crazy with colors and yeah it just no it out. must be amazing yeah okay thank you so much